Vince's involvement really stemmed from my father who played with the local team Bally Adams here and uh, four of my uncles as well and my mother being from Offaly was a hurling woman came from a big hurling family in Offaly so from early, early stages we were encouraged to go to the field and do our practice. And my best memories now that I'm much older and can reflect back is being taken to those matches, uh, looking forward to training sessions, looking forward to the games and being really well supported by your parents and people in the club and then being brought somewhere after the matches for Orange and uh, Tato. So those really are great uh, uh, memories to have. We've been involved in the GA, all seven of us, four lads, three girls, since I can barely remember. It's been a great experience and obviously the lads we've all played for the club and uh, we've played for the county so that was a great source of pride and uh, honour to our parents but sometimes the girls get overlooked and they've been a great source of support to us and do great work for the club. Anne has been secretary of the club, treasurer of the club. Margaret helps out with coaching, making tea, looking after jerseys and Betty uh, the same so it's not just about one of us, it's about all of the family and all of us have been immersed in the GAA since, uh, since we were kids. With four brothers in it, probably started in the yard at home and then into the Haggard after breaking a few windows in the house at home. So then when we got the chance to go down to Kelleville, which was the home pitch, you know, and stand at the back of the goals, kick the ball back to the senior team, who were our heroes at the time, you know, the, you know, the Garvins, the Brennans, the O'Briens, those type of people. And um, to get the chance then later on in life to go and play, actually play with those people and be, and be managed and coached by them, it was a real privilege. The four of us were involved with the senior football team, St. Joseph's, and we would have won county finals together and we would have all have been involved with uh, leash footballers at some stage as well. So that was really a great honour to have family involved and to see them doing so well also. St Joseph's Club is an amalgamation of the old Bally Adams Club and uh, Wolf Hill. They were amalgamated in 1954 and an uncle of mine was one of the founders. When I was growing up, St Joseph's was the community. It was really the only organisation in the parish that catered for everyone in the parish, for young people and for the older people and obviously for the players. And, uh, but nowadays like, there's, there's so many other things going on, but St Joseph's is still central to what, what happens in the, in the parish. We would be running social uh, events to try and raise some money to keep the club going and it all was really well supported, very well supported. You know, so you're strictly come dancing, that type of thing, and everyone comes together, has a good night and chat about football and plenty of slagging. In recent years then we, we started up a ladies football team and you know just to have the two teams working under the one umbrella of St Joseph's is great. The, the, we don't have separate fundraising, we don't have separate committees, it's all the one you know which is kind of a nice model for to have in a rural area. It's hard to get money but you have two organisations out there looking to get money when, when we can do it all together so it's, it's great that way. Well, the Dermot Early Award, really prestigious award. Our family was absolutely thrilled when we got the news that we were after getting it. You know, I knew a bit about the awards because an uncle of mine actually got an award two years ago. The Earlys, like, they're legends, aren't they? You know, I mean, I played against Dermot Senior. When I was a selector with the Leinster team, the Railway Cup team, Dermot Junior was on it, and I know Paul well from uh, the Leinster coaching group. So, you know, to be, to be associated with the Earlys is, is really great. We're really delighted. I would have known Dermot, I would have played against him. He played for Sarsfields in Kildare, which is not too far away from here. So our club, St. Joseph's, would, uh, would often have played Sarsfields. And Dermot would have come into our dressing room being the gentleman he was and being the sportsman he was. And he would come in and give a rousing speech about how good we were, even although they were after beating us by a good score. But he was a legend of the game and did so much for football and represented the GEA so well. So we're really proud and honoured to receive the award uh, in his memory.